Yep, that's me. About to finish the fastest 10K of my life. But that was all <clears throat> eight months ago. There's a lot to catch up on. In the last eight months, I moved to Austin, Texas, ran the fastest mile of my life, and even lost an island in a Mr. Beast video. Bro. Oh, and so running YouTube go completely down the toilet. But now, your savior of content has returned. So let's watch this race. 15, 12, 5K time. Let's see the beach body. This oh. what three months of training get you. I feel kind of weird boxing out here. <laughs> so many people. Race predictions. Race predictions. Anywhere from 35 to 38. Little did I know that I was about to shatter those times. What are your predictions? I just have no clue. <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen you run too much, huh? I'm hoping for under 45 minutes. If you can okay. do that, I'll, I'll be impressed. And I'll be impressed if Zach ever uploads another video. <laughs> it's go time. We got 20 minutes. Gonna take off this, put on this. See, one thing, if we uh, pan out here, you look around, there's a lot of people in the race t-shirt. Two L's. One, you're wearing the race t-shirt, which just shows you're a casual. And two, it's black in a lot of heat. And then just L's all around. First time racing in these guys. I did one workout in them, and it was one of the best workouts of my life. So if that tells you anything, we're about to run some fast times. Oh, oh, these are bouncy. Oh my god. Rate the race fit, one to ten. We're about to head over, trying to get those prime positions at the front of the line, do some strides, and then we'll race. And it was go time. As the GOAT once said, I ain't peaking high school, I'm still out here getting faster. We're in at the front, looking around. I think we got a top ten finish. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good race. Comment right now, what do you think I'm about to run? Ten. Runners, two to your mark, and go! 10 runners are off, it's a long, hard run. Gun goes off and I take off with the front of the pack. You guys know how it goes. Those race nerves just take off and it feels so good to just get started. I had no expectations, just to leave it all on the table. <laughs> Tons of casuals rocking the race t-shirt in front of me. That won't last long. Here's my Strava map from the race, bringing us into mile one. So at the mile mark, I was in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh place after dropping a 526. Not even gonna lie guys, this terrified me. I had no clue what kind of shape I was in and I thought I was about to die hard. Here's another look at the Strava map where we were starting the big out and back, AKA, Mile two. I'd slowed down a bit with a 549 second mile, but I was catching everyone who went out too fast. Here's your boy moving into fourth place as I pass Mr. Man Bun. Needless to say, I was kind of cruising down this out and back. I realized I was going to shatter my old PR of 3912, even if I literally broke a leg. Here's my progress as we make the turn and hit mile three. I had just run a 535 third mile and was starting to feel the strain. My guy Carlos and I were now locked into a battle for third place and it was my full intention to land on the podium. I passed him for the first time right here and thus would begin a savage series of back and forth where neither of us could drop the other one. I tried picking up the pace but he answered every move. At the end of the day though, having a great competitor will always push you to your limit. We continued to hang tight on each other as we exited the out and back and headed into Mile four. We dropped another 535 mile on mile four, and now I knew it was going to be a battle to the end. I knew I was running out of my mind and had two goals. Don't die and beat Carlos. The race kept progressing into mile five. I was terrified because mile five was my slowest at 556. 
Before I knew it, Carlos had passed me for good, and all of a sudden we were sprinting down the home stretch, passing mile six. I had fourth place locked up, all these other guys were 5k runners, and glanced at the clock for the first time. After a 536 mile, I saw 33s on the clock and kicked with everything I had. I ended up running 34-0-0 and crushed my PR. 